Hi everybody, how are we doing today? So, I'm a big superhero ner nerd and I thoroughly enjoy watching superhero TV and movies. Now, there's such a cool thing to think about and watch, but today, what I really want to discuss is one hot take that I have about one in particular, and that is Superman and Supergirl. And now I know what everyone is thinking, you know, how could I have an issue with uh, the superhero? Well, I have a few points actually, and I think that they're kind of valid, I think. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily that Superman and Supergirl are terrible heroes. I mean, they do have a lot of good scenes and a lot of good things that, you know, are good. But I think overall, as a hero, I, I, I think their abilities and their power is just, you know, they have a lot, but they get taken down so very easily. It, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous sometimes, you know, and the same could be said about every other hero ever out there. But I think for the, for something that has one of the biggest weaknesses, Kryptonite, I think is such a, you know, a huge letdown when it comes to all these abilities that you know Superman and Supergirl have, especially in TV and movie action. It's just a huge letdown when you have all these other heroes that you know are more one direction in terms of their abilities and their powers. And Superman and Supergirl, you know, have a handful of abilities and powers when it comes to what kind of superhero they are, but when you know when superman or supergirl gets captured or taken down in a fight or battle you know it's just it it makes me want to you know just shake my head because it's just why on earth would you how like and i understand that uh you know it's it would be very extremely boring if superman or supergirl just 100 percent always took every threat down but I think having only very small, minimal weaknesses to a hero is kind of an issue as well. Um, so as you probably already know, Super, uh, Superman and Supergirl are not really my favorite heroes. Um, they're not bad heroes, but they're just not my favorite. Um, I'm more of a Flash fan. and. He's not perfect either. I mean, in his TV and movie action too, it's not perfect either. But, I mean, what is in this day and age, right? So, storytelling lacks when minimal things can hurt or just injure, you know, Superman and Supergirl. And, and this goes for all heroes too. But mainly Super Superman and Supergirl because, like, there's very minimal weaknesses for them i mean the biggest thing is kryptonite but like if if every storytelling involves kryptonite that's kind of boring because you're just reusing the same thing over and over and over in my opinion and just in a different way so i, I want to know what you guys think if you could just you know give me maybe there's some things i'm missing you know maybe you guys could tell me down in the comments if there's something I'm missing or if there's just something that, you know, I don't know about, you know, about Superman or Supergirl. But, I mean, I think it's just a little ridiculous that, you know, this hero gets just taken down from the stupidest things when it comes to uh, storytelling and, like, live action and and movies and things like that and it's just like come on man like you, you have all these abilities and super strength and all this stuff and like you're like a, the biggest utility hero right there and just yeah it's just when that happens it's just man like yeah so it just i don't know let me know down in the comments if you like know anything if you're just a big old superman fan or anything like that but i mean try to convince me man because like i do love superheroes and i just the biggest one i have an issue with right now is just superman and supergirl so 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Just let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I appreciate it. Thanks.